An amazing guy once told me that the basic unit of human understanding is the story. And what I love about Toronto is that you can't go four feet without a story. This, and I'm not just talking about the people here who come from so many different places, so many different backgrounds, and so many different experiences, but the city itself. Different parts of the city, there's stories to them. How they came to be, uh, where they are, how they were built the way they are, um, how they came to get the environment or the culture that's part of that. Toronto is an amazing city. It's a center for thought and culture, and having a TEDx experience here in Toronto really signifies how important on the global scale Toronto has become. When you think about Toronto, you, uh, you think about different neighborhoods. We've got Little Italy and, and Chinatown and all of these different neighborhoods uh, around the city. Toronto is such a diverse city and that you have so much exposure to so many different cultures that it, it makes you much more, um, I think, conscious of diversity. I love almost everything about Toronto. I love the smell of street meat when you're walking down Queen Street. I love the culture of the city. I think that we have a really, really cool, you know, hodgepodge of so many different tastes, colors, sights, sounds. Yeah, well, Toronto had every, every, um, <laughs> it was responsible for all of uh, my success, really. The diversity that, that Toronto offered and the, the, how welcoming the city was for me anyways, and o opening my eyes to um, so many different things I hadn't experienced. I was inspired when I arrived, and, and that passion, that energy, and was really what started what started my business. Toronto is an awesome city for a number of reasons. It's a center for the arts, for design, for business and media. Toronto, which is wonderful, is that it does provide you with opportunities. Like I think of something like the Toronto Fringe Festival. I think of like the art grants that were given. Like I talked to some of my American friends and they're like, you guys get grants? To do art? <laughs> like they, it's just like, it's beyond them. Like they couldn't even imagine. I think that our perspective on the world being tucked up right beside the U.S., but also being away from the U.S. gives us a, a unique opportunity to kind of observe and then excel. And what has come out of Toronto um, is, is very unique. I mean, and it's so kind of global at this point that sometimes people don't even remember or recognize that it's Canadian. They just kind of think that it's just good, which is, that means you're on, you're on to something. You know? TEDx and TED uh, are about ideas. They're about stimulating new ways of thinking. They're about being outside of the box. They're about exposing uh, each other to some of the, the greatest minds in the world. We have so much of this expertise right here in Toronto, and that is um, reaffirming. And it positions us as, I think, truly uh, increasingly global leaders and, and global thought leaders in how we can make the world a better place. Toronto has uh, that openness and, and almost a faith in itself uh, it's understood by most to be a safe environment in a physical sense and I think it's also understood to be uh, an environment that's safe intellectually. It allows people to explore the edges and then uh, develop a center. Toronto is very much reflective of that, uh, of that type of atmosphere. There is definitely an openness and a, and a general feeling of uh, safety in Toronto. One of the best ways to make a difference is to build a coalition of unlikely allies. And in Toronto, you're exposed to the people who don't necessarily agree with you. And those, that's the real training. That's really how you're going to understand how to get things done. So being part of a city like Toronto helps you understand where an opposing argument is coming from and then how to meet that test and how to take a good idea and provide answers to the harshest criticisms to that idea so that your case is going to be that much more convincing. As a man, I can't begin to tell you about childbirth. That's just the reality of it, right? As a, a student, I can't tell you about, you know, maybe the workforce because I haven't done it. And, you know, in terms of Toronto, like, you can't speak about Toronto and for Toronto without having Torontonians in the room. Everyone has it within them to contribute something towards a better city. It can be financial, right? it can be time, it can be creative ideas, it can be editing, writing. We need everyone to feel that any minor contribution helps. And when you think of how much understanding you can pull from that, not just from the people who come from different places, and different backgrounds, and different experiences, but of the city itself, of its history, of, of who came before us, and what they built, and why, and what they overcame. And I think, no matter who you are, there's something we can learn from the people we share this city with, from the people who've come before us, and what they've learned, and what they've taught, and what they've built.